Hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing? I, uh, I've never posted anything on, on YouTube before. Um, but I watch you guys. You know, everybody building stuff and all the Bedini motors and all the running coils and all the cool little project stuff. Well, I, I had, you know, I guess I got I had some kind of ideas that that may go that may be different. Um, kind of different, kind of not different. It's, uh, I was just gonna you know introduce this project I got. I call it Eddie. E D D Y. Um, basically because I really don't know enough about electronics to um, create the fields and stuff that I want around it. I'm a mechanical engineer. I worked for Siemens for 20 years in the medical field and I worked mostly with optoelectronics, um, conversion of photons into usable um, sensing technologies, you know, in infrared uh, spectrum and stuff, you know, non-invasive medical stuff. And so, you know, my my expertise is in systems development and um, optical optical systems. So um, this is kind of a you know a new paradigm for me. Um, but what I've got here is it's a uh, uh, it's a it's it's a Bedini motor inside. It's got the collapse coil configuration. Uh, essentially, you know the the uh, trigger or the run and charge coil double double wind, 450 wraps. Um, so it by itself is is the motor, and you know it's going to be the over unity thing that everybody else is building. I think no reason why it shouldn't be. But this rotor right here is is pretty cool, and it serves two functions. Um, I got the magnets, big neodymium, one square inch by a quarter inch thick, big heavy neodymium magnets, and then I have neodymium magnets inside this coil. This is a tube, three quarter inch diameter OD tube, half inch ID, and I'm putting little. Little magnets in it. like this. Put four sets in it: um, positive, uh, north, south, and then south north, and then the four sets so that there's an opposing field uh, between all of them. Otherwise, they'll, they'll they'll stick like this, and then they'll stick in here because the radius of this thing is less than the length of the thing. Well, anyway, we got past that problem. So, four sets of magnets is what I've put in so far. Um, all in um, in the opposing direction. So, what I essentially get out of this thing is uh, uh, an AC waveform. And, and I get uh, 24, I get 24 pulses per rotation. Now, I've only tested this thing statically because, um, because I haven't gotten the circuit part done on this thing right here. And I know I can't use just the standard, uh, Budini, uh, Budini, uh, it, SSG circuit because it only has one transistor in it. And, um, but essentially, this is just a Bedini motor, three-coil Bedini motor, collapse thing over unity kind of thing. But then I'm using the magnets on the inside of here uh, to create the field inside this this coil, this tube. With I can put up to six sets of magnets in here, and then um, so. I would end up with uh, th 36 pulses 
uh, at one, uh, what was it? Uh, well, I, like I said, I haven't run it dynamically, but statically I'm getting like uh, 200 millivolts per, you know, just sit here and run the, the magnet through the coil, you know, and, and look at the, uh, the voltage swing. It's an AC uh, swing, so the delta is about uh, 200 millivolts total. And these aren't charged coils, these are just, uh, these coils are uh, 22 gauge. I think there's, uh, there's 240 wraps, there's three layers of 80. And that's not that much, but um, it's just proof of concept, it's my second prototype. So the idea here is once you fire up the motor and you get this thing rolling like this, and you got that output going to your charge, then you have a separate charge circuit for this one, for this coil right here. Um, then you take that AC waveform, you run it through a bridge and rectifier, and you run it, you know, run that to your charge too. So this is more like an over Unity Plus system. And I know nobody has one of these. <laughs> I've been looking for a while now, and nobody has. This kind of a design, it's kind of, it's kind of really cool. Um, now Mr. Angus, um, I sent you an email today, and I seen that you subscribed. Um, I didn't even know I had a thing you could subscribe to, but that's cool. Um, I'm gonna do this video, and then I'm gonna put this on, on, uh, on my, my uh, account, and. Um, we can talk about it, but uh, I want to let you know that this this uh, Dale right here, although it's new and different, um, I have a way, I think, of getting rid of the whole Boutini motor. Um, and actually using the Boutini circuit, the trigger coil, charge coil, in line with this, with Hall, Hall pack sensors on all the positions, right the center of the, the coil or wherever it needs to be. I think I'll put a rotary ring on it where all of them are connected, where I can index them, kind of give the timing to all the, all the Hall effect sensors, and make sure that the timing through the fields are correct. But essentially what, what I'm thinking here is that I can use the Bedini trigger coil to accelerate the magnet to a point to where it sees that the hall sensor, you know, and then it, it interrupts the signal and then for just that split second, but then it sends it on its way again. Um, I, I've, already, I've already created acceleration using these coils, and this is probably too heavy of a, of a, of a wire, but I can accelerate a magnet from this coil all the way to over here and and that's with an inefficient uh, coil so I'm thinking seriously <laughs> I envision this thing running four or five or six stories high all running off parallel the same parallel circuit accelerating 36 48 different magnets through all of these coils all kicking AC out through a bridge rectifier straight into and you got nothing you got no current other than a little pulse to accelerate the magnet I think so anyway I, I want to finish this I want to get this thing done at the same time um, I would like to figure out if my circuits right but I thought it'd be a really neat project on the other end if I had some help. Um, you know, the advancement on this kind of stuff, uh, I can see the advantage of having more people working on it and sharing our ideas and stuff. And so that's where I'm at right now. I just uh, thought maybe uh, we can, uh, you know, send a couple emails or whatever and look at each other's stuff. And, see what the heck we got going on and see if there's something we can pursue uh, towards achieving this. Uh, I don't know what to expect out of it. Um, 
but it's I think it's pretty interesting and I, and I look forward to uh, to working on it with uh, with everybody anybody who wants to help anybody who wants to you know try to pursue maybe a different idea you know every 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 time an idea goes through an iteration with somebody well, look at this this is my iteration in looking at the single coil Bedini motor kind of thing and if we can if we can um, collectively you know um, there is an efficiency and let me just say this is that there is an efficiency that I've seen just in the principle of running a magnet through the center of this coil versus a collapsed coil output kind of a thing and um, because the magnet instead of encroaching just on the outer edge of it or or uh, some sort of parasitic magnetic uh, magnetism going through the face of a coil it's just not as efficient as having the, the magnet going through and I've quantified it to around 60 60 percent maybe 63 percent so that's quite a bit actually so anyway that's where we are I'd like to uh, I'd like to see if if I can essentially create this ring no Bedini motor but these coils these coils are wrapped just like these are um, I don't know that's my idea that's what that's, that's what I was thinking uh, no moving parts it's just a magnet <laughs> a magnet and, and electrons so uh, let me know what you think uh, I'm gonna get this put on the tube tonight and see where we can go be good <laughs> like the wind so uh, so good <laughs>